Hi, my name is Kate, and this is my 10x10 video that is like pink floral themed. Um, I wanted to do a 10x10 right now because it's August. Um, things are going on sale, but I feel like everyone is kind of slowing down what they're buying and they're trying to enjoy like the last um, couple weeks of summer. Um, so I thought it would be good to just show different ways to like stretch your wardrobe or incorporate those fall pieces that we're itching to wear. I'm itching to wear. I love fall. Um, so I have some long sleeves and some like long pants and yeah, I'm excited to show you this. So I have 10 items, I, I believe. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 items. So I have two pairs of shorts, one pair of jeans, um, a dress, two dresses. This is a nightgown, two, three tops, one tank top, and then one sweater. So everyone goes into a 10 by 10 for a different reason. A 10 by 10, this 10 by 10 challenge was originally started by Carolyn Joy and Lee Vosberg. Um, I think they mainly did it through Instagram, but they both have their own um, blog. So Google them and you'll find more information on that. They have really beautiful style. But uh, I wanted to do this because it is uh, like August. Like I said, we're going to go home. We've been at our cottage, my family and I, since March, since like the apex of crazy this crazy... Um, pandemic hopefully that's hopefully that's been the apex <laughs> and um we yeah we're moving next week so i i need to pack all of our stuff we have so much stuff here i got all my packages everything sent here so i have so many clothes here now and i just need to uh have like a uniform or a couple pieces um and to get me through like the busiest time so all the packing the moving the driving the unpacking, the getting ready for school, and I just have to have something that I don't have to think about, but I know all goes together. So I was really inspired to do this particular one um, after I got my Anna Kachu Never On Time dress skirt. It comes with a tie. And this is a really beautiful piece. I got this on sale through her site, which I think she's having another sale, so keep an eye on that. But um, otherwise, I you can find it on Netta Porte, and she has a new version coming out with her regalia collection, which is like really beautiful, like jewel tones and darker tones for fall. But this is a dress and a skirt, and it's so lovely. Inika Chu's stuff is very um, adjustable. She has a lot of ties on her stuff, which I enjoy because I find the versatility really amazing. So this has a tie at the top, and also a little bit of elastic, I believe. Does this have elastic? Let me double check. Yeah, a little bit of elastic. And then the top has these ties. And then it's a midi length on me, I'm 5'3". And then at the very bottom is this really beautiful um, embroidery. So I think this is a really gorgeous piece. Um, I can wear it as a skirt and a dress and I actually love it both ways. That never happens when, some, when they claim something is like versatile and you can wear it a bunch of different ways. That's probably the first piece that I actually love all the ways to wear it. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna show you each piece here and then a, like an outfit well, that goes with it and then at the very end of this video I'm just gonna play all the outfits because it's actually more than 10 outfits so this is just more of an outfit idea vlog and then I call it a 10 by 10 because it's for me it's like a 10 days of craziness and then uh, um, and, and everyone searches everyone a lot of people know what 10 by 10 is so that's for like the search bar so anyway yeah in a good dress never on time and then I have my Doen Jane top and this comes with a, as a not as a set. It's not sold as a set. These are sold separately But this is my do and Jane top um, in the pink bijou floral So this is one of their newest versions. They also have a blue baby Kate version. I'm not really sure what's in stock anymore I'm gonna have everything linked below um, Or alternatives they come out with the Jane all the time on um, what they don't come out with all the time is the scout short so this year the Jane is like a very uh, classic style they've always had this this top um, and it's not it's what they're known for so they come out with it a lot but what they did this year is they turned it into a pajama set which I think is so brilliant and it's so comfortable it's one of my favorite pajama sets right now I just absolutely love it um, it's semi sheer and the shorts I love the style of the shorts so I talked about this in my last Doen um, new in Doen video which was my very last video before this um, <laughs> this is how the shorts come and they have like a little bit of elastic on the back but otherwise, I think they're very fla flattering, like the drawstring. And so this isn't a wear out piece, I would say. The shorts, the top you can definitely wear out. But the shorts are more of a stay in lounge. You can wear a nice top with it for your Zoom meetings or whatever you need if you need your upper half looking um, presentable. Um, but this is definitely a really comfortable short to be in. 
Um, I forgot to mention, this 10 by 10 is also good for me because half of it is pajamas. Um, so like this isn't, in, this includes like pretty much everything except for footwear and like underwear that I'm going to wear for the next couple days as we're packing get going. So this is like a really good like nighttime today wear. I think that's a really good trend right now. Joanne does that really well where they show, um, their items, uh, for nighttime and for day, um, depending on like the sheerness level and like what you're comfortable wearing and layering, etc. So that is the scout short. So I'll continue with the short. Sorry if you are my family. Um, we're all working from home <laughs> and doing the best we can to do this. And my son is going through one of those leaps, the one year leaps, and he is vocal. He's fine. My husband's with him. But um, I have these shorts. So these are originally from Aritzia, and I got these this year. I forget what they're called, but I got the black version last year. And they're elastic waist. They have two pockets on the side, and then they have a roll-up hem. And they're just very comfortable, very easy to wear. I love elastic <laughs> I love stretchy jeans and elastic around my waist. I feel like that's the part of me that fluctuates the most as I'm uh, throughout the day. And because I've been losing um, baby weight, um, I really love this as I feel it's like just very forgiving. And I really like the color. So I love brown with pink. I think it goes with almost everything here. Um, and it's just a very good neutral. And then last for bottoms are these old Zara jeans. So these jeans are just, like I said, old Zara jeans. I'm sorry, I, I'll see if the, I can link something below if they brought it back. Um, but otherwise, they're just like a really nice high-waisted jean that, this isn't stretchy actually, um, but I just love the sturdiness and I love the leg on it and the, the casualness of the un, undone hem. And I, yeah, I like the, the wash on them. So they're kind of like, they're between like a medium and light. They're probably more on the medium wash angle but I think they go well with everything they're high enough on me I like a really high rise in my jeans um, because it makes my legs look longer which my legs are so short <laughs> so that's my tactic for that next up is my Inika Chu smock top and this is another Inika Chu piece that is versatile and this looks like just any other top but you can wear it um, backwards so you can wear it with the tie in the front I actually don't like it with the tie open because this this has this the smocking brings the opening a bit wider and I feel like that is like a weird shape on me but I actually love wearing this open which you'll see in the video and then it has elastic cuffs and then this is how it looks backwards isn't this beautiful so this is such a gorgeous smocking detail and uh Inika is also known for like a lot of her details like smocking like embroidery so you should definitely check her out I think this one's on sale um at matches right now they just like a bunch of the in the stuff just went on sale they're doing their summer sale right now so check that out i'll have that link below but um yeah this color is beautiful it's this bright pink that's so cheerful and i just think it's like a really lovely color um and i i like cheerful clothing to get me through those tough times because it make you even though you feel like exhausted and tired it's just a little bit more upbeat so i think this is um a really lovely piece you can wear it front and back it's like looser, so it's like a tunic, so it's comfortable to wear, and it's linen, so regardless of the, the weather, um, this is gonna keep you cool. So next is probably one of my favorite sweaters of all time. I don't normally hang my sweaters like this. This is, this is bothering me, but I wanted to do this for <laughs> the video purpose, so let me take this, let me do this quickly. So um, this is the Casey sweater from Cezanne. And this comes in another color, which I have. It's like a blue and red and yellow. It's like a really sunset color. And this one, I don't know if you can see, but it has a, a metallic thread, so it makes it a little bit more glittery. The other color does not have that, just in case you find it. But it's just beautiful. And I remember seeing this and thinking like, oh, okay, that's another sweater. But there's this really lovely combination of the weight of the sweater, the colors, and just this, like the whole style. It's like, it can be slouchy, you can have it with, wear it with skirts, you can wear it with jeans. Um, and you can, because it is a, it's a pretty open knit, like it's really summer friendly. So I highly recommend this. Again, I got it in the archive, I got it in the archives. So it's something to look um, at that. That happens in like January or December, and then like June or July, depending on um, what works for, for Cezanne, I guess, but I'll link what I can find below. They're just coming out with some new knits, um, for fall. So keep your eye on, on that, but they I love Cezanne for their knits. I think this is like, this is the nicest sweater I have and it goes with absolutely everything. Next up is I, is my slate nightgown from Doan. This is the front. <laughs> I 
actually got this second hand and this is the maple color. Um, I talked in my last video that I'm not really sure if that's the right color to describe it, but I, I don't have anything better. So let's, let's go, let's just go with that. I have this in white. Um, and I love this so much, this style. And it is a nice poplin, so it's not see-through. So I think it's actually really good for day. This comes really low. So it really depends on your comfort level if you want to wear this out um, as a dress. I think it looks very nice layered with a long sleeve tee, which I'll show you. But otherwise, it has just the most beautiful details and like the rosettes, the lace. Um, I think it looks really nice with a sweater and I think it's just very versatile. And it's one of my favorite nightgowns to wear because I have, I like the Empire waist. Um, it gives me just a little bit of support that I need while I'm sleeping and I just absolutely adore it. This is another Doan piece. So this is the Doan Cami tank in um, the mini, oh, I forget what it's called. I'll have it all down below and I'll have my sizes. I haven't been mentioning my sizes, but I'll have my sizes down below too. And I love this. This was advertised as a pajama top, but I've been wearing it normally with like jeans and like everything you'll see. Um, so I've been wearing this out, but I think I could definitely do both. I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like paired with the shorts. You'll see that in the video too. But this is just very versatile and very nice. In my last video, I talked about how I really love these classic pieces, but I'll also have like a little bit of like oomph to them or have a little bit of design to them. So what's so nice about this tank top is that it gathers in the middle, it has this gorgeous little bow, and then it has this scallop detail. Like this is just a tank top, but there's so much to it. And then there's like this floral pattern, which is so sweet and beautiful. This washes really well. I've hand washed it before, dried it flat, and it retains its shape. So I think this is really beautiful. This is not my last cami top. Um, I'm definitely gonna get more um, as they come out with them. And then I think, I forget what this one is called. This is, I think this is the Annie tee from Doan. This is either the Annie or the Romy. I think the Romy has a bigger um, neck. I'll have it linked below, like I said. So this is another classic piece from Doan. This is something they come out with every once in a while. I got this during one of their, I think their Mother's Day sale. Um, I hate spending money on basics, even though it's the most practical <laughs> thing to do. So, um, I finally got my hands on this and it goes with everything. Again, they have this really beautiful scallop detail that makes even a basic just a little bit special. I love that about Dylan. I think they pour so much into their design and I think they're very creative with like basics and, and stuff like that. This is a like three quarter length sleeve, um, pure white. I think this is called salt. And yeah, it pairs, pairs well with everything. It's an amazing basic. So those are the pieces of my 10 by 10. I will roll the video now of all the outfits that I have created with it, including the ones that I've interspersed while I was talking. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and let me know what, uh, what you think. Time has been so hard on us, my friend.